also I'm going to show you the proper way to remove the freeze plug and you always want to take the freeze plugs out at this stage they will start leaking over time something this old they definitely will leak between this freeze plug surface here in the block I've seen old engines that have been in cars for a long time they start leaking and and they make a real big mess so and they're very difficult to change when the engines in the block so just common practice you're going to rebuild it change the freeze plugs so I found the best way to remove these freeze plugs over time is you just want to try to hit on one side and push it in and what it does it walks it so it comes up kind of straight and then you can pull it out with a pair of um, channel locks or if you can push you don't want to push it in it's a little harder to get out but if you do push it in you can grab on this one edge and pull it out now you're gonna be really careful with the with the procedure I just described because right here and here is your cylinder walls and I actually have seen someone try to get this freeze plug out punch a chisel or something in there and punch a hole and crack the cylinder and go through it and damage the block and it basically ruined the block you can't sleeve it but it, you know my in my opinion once you do something like that the block is junk so what I'm gonna do is hit on this edge and hopefully get this plug out it's moving a little bit oh well that's okay I would, but this is what I was saying just push it be careful with it take a pair of channel locks and you can just pull it out like that and that's the proper way to pull out a freeze plug thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.